All right, next we're going to work uh, problems 11. Uh, let's see, let's work up problems 11 through 14. Okay, and then we'll save the duration problems uh, for the next video. All right, so uh, let's just uh, kick off by starting uh, problem 11. A company is planning to issue a $1,000 face value bond that matures in 15 years with a coupon rate of 7.5%. If similar bonds are currently priced to yield 8.55%, what is the price of the bond? So here we're solving for present value. The yield to maturity, the bonds are currently priced, or similar bonds are currently priced at 8.55%. We know that that's higher than the coupon rate. Therefore, we know the price of this bond will be less than the face value. In problem 11, we also note that there's no uh, specification on when these coupons are paid, so we'll assume that they're paid annually. Let's use the uh, financial calculator to calculate this. So I've got a face value of negative 1,000. Again, that's an outflow from the firm's perspective. I've got a payment of $75 or 7.5% of face value. Again, that's a negative because it's an outflow from the firm's perspective. The yield to maturity is 8.55%. And we have 15 years until maturity. I'm going to go ahead and compute present value. And the price of this bond is $913 and about 7 cents. Okay. So hopefully you're, you're getting the hang of this, uh, how to price these bonds. If you've watched uh, the last two videos and, and watched this video, you should be uh, very capable at, at solving for the prices or the yields to maturity on these bonds. So uh, let's do number 12. A company's planning to issue a $1,000 face value bond that matures in 13 years with a coupon rate of 5.5%. Similar bonds are priced at $1,019.62. We're going to try to find the yield to maturity on this bond. Uh, I'll use the financial calculator again here. So we have a $1,000 face value. I'm going to enter that as a negative $1,000 future value. Again, it's an outflow from the firm's perspective. I've got a coupon rate of $55. Now notice in problem 12, I don't specify uh, when the coupons are paid, so we're assuming they're going to be paid annually. So I'm not going to adjust this coupon payment. $55 negative outflow. Enter that into the payment function. The bonds are priced at $1,019.62. Again, this is a positive, an inflow to the company. The market is pricing these bonds at a premium. Uh, in problem 12, the bond matures in 13 years. Now I'm going to compute I over Y. Before I do, let's make some inferences here. The bonds are priced at a premium and the coupon rate is 5.5%. If the market has priced these bonds above the face value, then I know the yield to maturity should be less than the coupon rate. When I compute I over Y, I have a yield to maturity of 5.2875%, uh, which is less than the coupon rate, so that makes uh, sense as well. All right. uh, let's, uh, let's solve number 13. Let's do this in Excel here. Uh, problem 13, currently company XYZ has a $1,000 face value bond that matures in 15 years with an annual coupon rate of 7.7%. The bond is priced to yield 7.5% per year. However, coupons will not be paid out to the sixth year. What is the price of this bond? Now, this is a very interesting problem here. So we, we, we can solve this problem two ways. All right. Uh, let's, uh, let's see here. I'm going to... I'm going to solve this problem uh, one of two ways. The first thing I'm going to do is let me drag this down so we have more Excel, more of this worksheet to work with. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to look at this bond. Uh, it, it matures in 15 years, but coupons won't be paid out till year six. So I'm going to pull down the number of periods. So th this these are years. Here, my coupons are going to be equal to zero for the first five years. Okay, and then in year six, it looks like the coupon rate is seven percent. So I get a seventy dollar coupon from year six to year fifteen. But I also know that in year fifteen, I I get the face value of the coup of the bond back. 
I'm, I'm talking about it from the bondholder's perspective. But the firm, th this is what the cash flows look like to the, the bondholder. Okay. Now recall, we've discussed that the price of a bond is equal to the sum of the coupons as well as the as the the sum of the present value of the coupons rather as well as the present value of the face value of the bond so what i could do is i could treat each of these coupons individually as individual cash flows i can find the present value in today's dollars and just sum them up okay i think this is the easiest way to calculate that especially when you have excel handy so here column c i'm going to calculate the discount factor which is equal to 1 plus the yield to maturity and in problem 13 the yield to maturity is 7.5 percent I'm gonna raise that to the first power in year one the second power in year two the third power in year three and so on note here that in year 15 this is 1 plus the yield to maturity raised to the power of 15 this is the discount factor okay You'll recall that the present the, the present value of anything is equal to the future value divided by 1 plus r raised to the power of t. We've been talking about that in class for a while here. So now all I have to do is divide these coupons by the discount factor, and that's going to give me the present value uh, of the first coupon, which by the way is 0, so I know that the present value is 0. But that's going to give me the present value of each of these coupons. Okay. Let me explain what this is. In problem or in year six, the seventy dollar coupon in today's dollars is forty five dollars and thirty six cents. In year ten, the seventy dollar coupon is in today's dollars worth thirty three dollars and ninety six cents, and so on. Okay, so so don't get lost by just uh, using your financial calculator all the time. In this problem, we have to use this formula. The price of the bond is equal to the sum of the present value of the future cash flows that the bond will pay. That's going to be zero for the first five years, $70 for the remaining 10 years, plus the $1,000 face value. I'm just going to add those up. And the price of this bond should equal... six hundred and seventy two dollars and sixty five cents okay uh, good so I, I could do this another way let, let me sh let me show you how you could do this a, a second way I think this might be useful if I just focus here like let me let me look at the present value in year five if if I just hide these columns here in fact let me make my my uh, worksheet bigger let me, let me hide these rows. If I just look at this, if I just look at years 6 through 15, this just looks like a normal bond with uh, with a 7% coupon rate. Okay, So I could calculate the present value in year 5. Okay, I could calculate the present value in year 5. The interest rate is 0 0.075 or 7.5%. That's the yield to maturity. The number of periods here is 10. The payment is negative 70. The future value is negative 1,000. I'm going to assume discounting at the end of the period. This is going to be the present value of this bond in year 5. Let me unhide these rows. Okay. This is the present value of these coupons and this face value in year 5. To get the present value in year 0, which is what I'm looking for, all I have to do is take the present value. I'm discounting still by 7.5%. Five years. The payment here is zero. There's no coupon. And the future value is now negative $965.68 with the compounding that's happening at the end of the period. Ho hopefully you understand what's happening here. I just did this in two steps where I treated this as a normal looking bond in year five with a 7% coupon rate. Once I got the present value in year five, I still have to discount that back another five years to get it in today's dollars. And you can see that when I do that, the present value is equal to 672.65, which is equal to uh, the answer that we just got previously. And that gives us the answer to problem 13. Okay. 
ho hopefully that makes sense. That was a little wrinkle to the some of the problems that we've been working on here. Uh, let's do problem four, uh, 14. All right. So last year, I'm going to do this one in the financial calculator, but I'm going to leave Excel open because I'm going to have to jot down some notes here. Okay. So to solve problem 14, look at this. Last year, a $1,000 face value bond with a 6.5% annual coupon rate and a 10-year maturity was priced at 98% of par. So we bought this bond last year at $980. Coupon rates 6.5%. The maturity is 10 years. And now assume that interest rates over the past year have increased 1%. What is the price of the bond today? Recall that bond prices and bond yields are inversely related. So if interest rates go up, the bond prices should go down. We bought this bond at 980. So if interest rates went up 1%, then I know that the price of this bond is going to be something less than $980. Okay, we're going to solve this in two steps. First, we're going to get last year's uh, yield to maturity. Okay, so our first step is to get last year's yield to maturity. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend that it's last year. I recall I had a thousand dollar face value bond. That's negative one thousand in the future value function. I had a coupon rate of sixty-five dollars or six point five percent of face value. I put a negative sign because that's an outflow from the firm's perspective. I have $980 price. So the present value is a positive $980. And last year I had 10 years until maturity. So I'm going to enter 10 into the time to maturity function. And I'm going to compute I over Y. Now note that this bond is priced at a discount, so I know that the yield of maturity should be something slightly greater than 6.5%. And I see that the yield of maturity here, let me jot this down, is 6.7819%. Okay. So the first step in solving problem 14 is to solve first for the yield of maturity. Now, uh, the second step to solve for the price today I'm going to find this year's price, and I'm going to assume that this yield of maturity has increased 1%. Okay. So now I'm solving for present value. The future value or face value remains the same, negative 1,000, an outflow from the firm's perspective. The coupon rate is 6.5% of that face value. It's also an outflow from the firm's perspective, and it remains constant throughout the life of this bond. I'm solving for present value, and my yield to maturity is not 6.78%, but it's going to be 7.7819%. That is, the interest rate or the yield to maturity increased by 1% over the past year. And notice also, now there's not 10 years left until the bond matures. There's only 9 left, so I'm going to put 9 into the time function there. And I'm going to solve for the price of the bond. And I get $919 and about 19 cents. So again, I think that's important to understand. That is, the interest rates go up 1%. The bond prices are going to go down. If we bought this bond at $980, then if interest rates go up, then the bond price is going to drop below even 980 So the price of this bond in problem 14 is $919 and 19 cents.